Yes, sir. You ain't about to beat me with these hoes on my team. Hey, what's good? Sorry to break it to you, but you're going to have to fight me before you even get the chance to catch these Pokemon. Hey, yo, where are you taking me? What the fuck? Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. That dude gotta be dead. So we all know that legendary Pokemon have ridiculous stats. But Pokemon is a game where a level one Rattata can beat the entirety of the Elite Four in every Pokemon game. So just how fast can you beat Pokemon Platinum with Giratina? Hey, how the hell did you catch this Giratina? So we're not gonna be using any items in battles, no extra Pokemon, just the pure strength of Giratina. And the goal is to see how fast this beast of a Pokemon can beat the game. We start with a level one of Giratina. Giratina's first moves he starts with is Dragon Breath and Scary Face. And Dragon Breath has the chance to pair Paralyze. But with no training, our level 1 Giratina was strong enough to beat a level 5 Starly, mm -hmm. which is actually pretty insane. Growing us to level 3, then 4, and 5 by the end of the first route, decimating our rival and just about every Pokemon that we had in our path. I was so confident that I ran into the first gym and took on Rorik at level 7. We outsped and used Dragon Breath on the Geodude and instantly paralyzed him. Took one rock throw, but took him down immediately. Then he sent out his ace for some reason, and he used Pursuit on me knocking me down to 4 HP. As we paralyze him with the second Dragon Breath, he uses a potion as we hit him again and we outsped him and took him down. And now the Onyx comes out, but he just kills me. Unfortunately, I didn't heal in that town, so I had to run all the way back to him. With my level 9 Garantina, we managed to take down his Geodude without getting hit. We get leered as we critical hit his Craniodos and paralyze him with Dragon Breath as we take him down the next turn. Onyx comes out and we were able to take him down with two Dragon Breaths as we grow to level 11, and that's the first badge. And man, Dragon Breath is actually going to be the best hacks move ever. We caught a Beedoof so we can turn him into a HM Slip, save this old man and ate his honey as a reward, and against Mars, we're actually up against a challenge. Mars' Zubat was no problem at all, but her progly has fainted sad. Okay, we just critted her and won from luck. All right, we finally reached Gardenia in the first hour and 43 minutes in. She starts with Turtwig and we spam Omniswin taking out her first two Pokemon and then her Roserade came out. Gardenia decided to use Stun Powder on me, so I was slower than her and she chipped me down as I was getting hacks, but right before I was able to end her whole entire career, she decided to heal herself back up. Then she absolutely obliterated me with a critical hit Grass Knot. I felt like Mike Tyson against Logan Paul, cheated by a nominous decision. I had no choice but to run back in and repeat the battle. And this time, we managed Managed to defeat her whole entire team with dragon breaths. After traversing a mountain and making her way to Heart Home City, we go to Fatina to ask her if she wants to get it on. And surprisingly, she was down. So after two hours and 22 minutes, we made it to the third gym and took on Fatina. So we took out her Haunter with a single ominous win, but when her Ms. Magius came out, she uses Confuse Ray to flex on me and smacked my Garantina twice with two Shadow Balls to the face. She was hitting me so good, my Garantina knocked itself out in confusion. And man, I gotta say, she really put it on me, boy. But the next attempt, my Garantina used Ominous Win and got an Omni boost in all his stats and condition his body to take Fentina's shadow ball and blow Fentina's Pokemon out. Proceeded to flex with another boost then after taking out the last Pokemon doing it again easily getting us the third badge. After taking a nice ride in the rain and taking on two guys simultaneously with only one Pokemon growing to level 30 and learning Dragon Claw we make it to Maylene three hours in. We use Ominous Wind to take out her Meditate and Machoke and had an intense boxing match with Lucario for the badge. Look it's 11-11 make a wish. We make it to Pastoria City and we enter the gym so Barry. Why are you here? I just fought you 10 minutes ago. Whatever. So we beat Barry's whole entire team with Dragon Claw and two Dragon Breaths. And make it a Crasher Week's gym three hours and 40 minutes in. It seems like we're making pretty good time. So he sends out Gyarados and holy crap, he actually does a ridiculous amount of damage. He just used a Hyper Potion? Okay, we took him out. Wait, his Floatal has Crunch and Ice Fang? Okay, this is about to be hell, isn't it? Holy crap, holy crap. Okay, well, the only way we're gonna get past this is getting an Omni Boost. Finally, we did with Ancient Power. We take out Gyarados the next turn with Omni's win, then Floatal, then Quagsire. Uh, okay, now Quagsire. And just like that for the fifth gym badge. So just about four hours in, and we have half the gyms beat. At this rate, we're about to beat the game. <laughs> Oh God, they're gonna make us do a bunch of stuff that's unrelated to us beating all the gym badges right now, huh? Hey, Duwaji, go chase that guy around. He blew something up. How do you know that? Just do it. Hey man, I didn't do nothing. Hey man, I didn't do anything. Stop chasing me. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I'm just trying to go home. Please take my money, just leave me alone. All right, so we make it through this fog area and take a detour across this road that looks very scary to ride across. Reach level 40, learn Shadow Force, but we just retaught ourselves ominous when later. We then smash these rocks and pick up the TM for Shadow Ball. One of the best ghost type moves in the game. Now, we make it to Condolave City so we can take on the six Barry, we just battled right before this gym. So we'd make it all the way up to Byron and take him on five hours in. He starts with Magneton, we use Shadow Ball twice to take him out, then take out a Steelix, 
but when his Bastiodon comes out, he tanks six Shadow Balls in a row, uses Metal Burst on us as we almost take him down after our 12th Shadow Ball hit, and oh my god, why did you heal? Yeah, we lost this battle. This is where we relearn Ominous Win because we're definitely gonna need some hacks to win this battle. So we start the next battle hoping to get an Omni Boost to win this battle because all of our moves are doing half damage but we don't get any boost. Then his Magneton drops my special defense by three stages. Then he just decides to switch to Bastiodon for no reason, huh? just to crush my dreams. Then he switched back to Steelix for some reason, and we take out a Steelix with E. But when Bastiodon comes out, we Dragon Breath trying to Parahax it to death, which was working, but he decided to use a full restore on the last hit after knocking me down to 1 HP. We get two special defense drops on him, almost taking him out, but the game was really just teasing my car. So for the next attempt, we tried again, and right when we took out Magneton, we got our Omni Boost, and one shot at his Steelix with a crit. Paralyzed Bastiodon and spam Shadow Ball almost went down to a Metal Burst, but ultimately out damaged his bulky Bastiodon for the sixth badge. Hey, I haven't talked to you kids in a long time. How are your Pokemon? Boom da boom. Boom da boom. What the fuck is up with these explosions? Okay, Duwaji, you have a legendary Pokemon. How about you go save the world or something? Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm about to go beat the game. So we make it to the seventh gym. Holy crap, did one of the trainers in a gym just knock out my leg? So we make it to Candace, six hours and 55 minutes in. And her Sneasel alone took me down to 57 HP. Luckily, we're able to dodge Frost Slash's Blizzard somehow and take it out. Pillow Swines comes out and we take it out, but Obama Snows just kills me with that avalanche. So I try again. This time I use Dragon Claw on Sneasel, then try to use Ominous Wind to get an Omni Boost, but it didn't happen. We managed to kill Frostlast again because they tried double teaming. And when Pillow Swan came out, we used Ominous Wind to get the boost. So when our Obama Snow came out, we just used Dragon Breath trying to Parahax it, and we do, and we're able to get the seventh badge easily. Man, I just realized all the antagonists and Pokemon are rich as fuck. Look at this dude's building. This is crazy. My name as I appear to you today is Cyrus. I don't know why and how you joined Team Galactic without knowing who the leader is and what Team Galactic even stands for, but I'll tell you today. So like, I hate the world, so I dedicated my life to become a billionaire just to destroy it. So I'm going to catch a legendary Pokemon for everyone in this room, and we're going to destroy the planet. Hey, this is awesome. Oh man, I'm glad I applied. We get a legendary? Yeah, fuck the world. I'ma blow this bitch up too. Oh hell no. We gotta beat this dude up before he does his plan. Hey bitch, you're not gonna blow up the world. Okay, his team is stronger than mine. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I lost to Cyrus like 12 times in a row because this dude's team just destroys my Garantina. He uses Screech on me with Sneasel, the fastest Pokemon ever to exist, dropping my defense by two stages, then two hit KOs me with Faint Attack with Honchkrow. So what do I do? Dragon Breath, baby. I spammed it hoping that I would just paralyze this whole entire team, and I did, I got the hacks off. But when he got low, he would just use a full restore. So anticipating for him to do that, I used Ominous Wind to hope that I got the boost. I mean, I'm faster than him anyways, but I did get the boost, allowing me to take out his Honchkrow, but I really wanted the boost so I can outspeed his Crobat. We're able to take his bite and take him out with Dragon Breath for the win. Hey, bitch, if you get to try and beat me over and over again, I want a rematch. This time, I'm bringing a legendary Pokemon. Yes, sir. You ain't about to beat me with these hoes on my team. Hey, what's good? Sorry to break it to you, but you're gonna have to fight me before you even get the chance to catch these Pokemon. Hey, yo, where are you taking me? What the fuck? Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. That dude gotta be dead. Nuh uh, we gotta jump in his hole. What the hell? Why do we ever think this is a good idea? Hey, yo, I don't care if we stuck in here forever, little dude. I want my get back. I've been stuck down here for a week training my Pokemon. And I'm gonna make sure you're stuck down here with all your Pokemon fainted. Okay, we gotta go against Cyrus again. And in this dimension, Giratina actually changes its origin form. We start with the Dragon Breath on his Houndoom, and yep, we got an Omni Boost right off the bat. Weavile comes out, we take him out with a Dragon Breath, we take out Honchkrow with a Dragon Breath, we take out his Crobat with a Dragon Breath, and when his Gyarados comes out, we beat him with a Dragon Breath. Oh hell no, you got me messed up, bro. I'm about to go train and you're not gonna beat me again, I guarantee you that. Okay, anyways, we just use Garantina's power to open a portal back home, and we lock Cyrus in that dimension forever. Problem solved. We make it to Sunny Shore City, nine hours and 41 minutes in. And while we were in the gym, Garantina reached level six and learned Earth Power. We reached Volkaner 10 hours and 2 minutes in and beat his whole entire team spamming Earth Power for the 8th badge. And with that, we make it to the Elite Four. Oh my god, Barry, give me a break. I just saved the world from a crazy billionaire. Well, we sweep this team easily and made Barry rethink his life decisions, so now. For the first member, we one shot a Yamega with Shadow Ball, one shot a Drapion with Earth Power, two shot at Scissor with Earth Power, with two hit Heracross with Shadow Ball, took out Vespaquin with a Shadow Ball. For the next member, we Shadow Balled Wishcast, took him out, used Ominous Wind and Gliscor, took him out, and for her 
Groudon, we used Dragon Breath, paralyzed him, and took him out. Use Earth Power on Rhyperior as he uses Avalanche, almost taking me out. We get chipped down to 7 HP after taking him out because of Sandstorm. And when Golem comes out, we use Earth Power, and that was enough to take him out. Barely winning that battle. For Flint, we use Earth Power on all his fire type Pokemon and killed him with ease. Now for Lucian, we use Shadow Ball to one shot his Mr. Mine, then Espeon, two shot Bronzong, then Alakazam, then finally Gallade. Finally, the last battle, and to see the final time, Cynthia. She starts off with a Spirit Tomb that's a big threat because she does 100 HP to me every hit. We almost take her down, but she uses the full restore. Then takes me down to 124 HP before taking her down. Next, her Garchomp comes out, and she's faster than me, but she misses her Dragon Rush. Unfortunately, I used the wrong move, and she beat me. Okay, reset. Holy crap, I forgot this hit. Anyways, her Garchomp is super fast, and she always outspeeds me. Dragon Rush is only 75% accurate, which is good, but we have to hit him twice in order to beat him. We have a chance to paralyze him with Dragon Breath, but just taking one Dragon Breath puts us in range to get Dragon Pulse by our Melodic. So our best bet was to use Dragon Breath on Spirit Tomb and paralyze it, spam Ominous Wind, and hope that we get a boost. And we do. Now we take 50% less damage, and we do 50% more damage. We outspeed the Garchomp, and we can take him out in one hit. We take out Lucario with Earth Power, take out Melodic and two Dragon Breath. We take Rosary's attack and take her out. And for Togekiss, we use two Dragon Breaths to win the challenge. We knew we'd probably be able to beat Pokemon with only Garantina, but we managed to beat the game in 11 hours and 51 yes, minutes with Garantina. Yes, we probably could have gotten a faster time, but how about you guys try this challenge and tell me how fast you get? So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post videos like this every week, so turn on post notifications if you enjoy videos like this. And thank you for watching.